Hey, we're live. Okay. Took me a little while today. I'm running a little bit behind time. And as usual, I'm somewhat unprepared. My brother doesn't like that. Oh, well. I'm here with my coffee mug. We're having coffee with Clever Models. Um, might be a short one today because I am unprepared. We'll probably do another another cast sometime uh, sometime later this week because I do have stuff I want to talk about. I'm still trying to get the chat working. Now, I know it works because I did get a message last week or two last week, but for whatever reason, uh, it was after I had already logged off that the messages showed up on the screen. So, and I realized I'm like a half an hour late, so there's probably nobody really there, but, you know, somebody might check in. Um, really want to get the uh, the chat part on the right side so I know what, what's on your mind. Now, last week, I'm going to have some coffee. I got to have some coffee. Oh, that's good stuff. Last week, we started on the lunch counter. And uh, so that, uh, you know, we cut a few pieces. Obviously, you don't want to be sitting here watching me cut stuff out. That's kind of boring. But hopefully you got a few insights into how things go together. Now, I did get inspired afterwards. I didn't intend to finish that model, but I did finish it. So I have it right here, and hopefully the camera will take good pictures of it. And, you know, I built it quick. It's not built as an extremely uh, quality model, but it is, you know, it's pretty much finished. Um, there actually, there is one additional piece on here that is above the this lintel here, there is a cutout sign that just says, like, Lucky's. So it's Lucky's lunch counter. Um, I did put together the roofing details. This is extremely rough, so I'm just saying it's wind damage, okay? Uh, it, do, it does its job. It fills in the, the space. It's also some, This is also some of the things I added after the fact. Uh, you know, I did this little stack here, which is just a rolled piece of rusted paper. Um, but I but I did go ahead and build. That's, I, I've got to hold this still so you can see it. Uh, all the little, you know, boxes and whatnot. I had no intention to go so far as to uh, put in all the air ducts and whatnot because, you know, I wanted to move on to something else. And I have moved on to something else. I'm doing a couple. I'm doing a very nice uh, model. It will not be a freebie. It's a uh, a drugstore. I'm actually working on several. I'm working on a modern drugstore that's uh, based on something in downtown Chicago. I'm also working on a hardware store that is based on... Uh, something in Crown Point, Indiana, although very loosely. Actually, it's another conglomerate. I had, a, I had a goal in mind as to what I wanted, and I used textures from Crown Point, but there's no building like that. But it's a nice building. You'll see it probably next week. Um, I'm pretty happy, even as rough as this kit is, and I think that's one of the points of clever models. Uh, you don't have to be a a master builder to get a good result. I think this would look good on anybody's layout. Um, as rough as rough as it is, uh, certainly there's ways to plus it out. I, I could have done um, more layers of the steel. I could have done a distressed roof. You know, there's a lot of little things. There's this little cooler out back. It's a little on the small side probably, but it's really just there to add a little you know, to change the profile, to change the uh, the silhouette of the building and give it some interest. Um, definitely could have gone another level of depth with all of the cutout detail, right? You know, it's all about layering. We, we start flat and we layer and layer, and even small amounts of layering, 
like the door frames, make a really huge difference in how good the buildings read as dimensional, right? So this one, obviously, because of all the roof detail, has quite a bit of dimension to it. Um, and it looks good. The front with the shadow box behind the window really, really sells it. It really looks good. Uh, the lunch sign is dimensional. All these little signs are dimensional. I'll probably, uh, uh, maybe, maybe if I ever revisit this, I'll put some more signage on the sides of the building. Uh, in general, I'm pretty happy with it, even though it was put together rather quickly and not very carefully. Uh, the worst part uh, is this vent, because I was kind of just, uh, I, I had it. I had uh, this vent was from another model. I made it a bit a different size. It's a bit smaller to fit on this roof. Uh, and, you know, I wanted to put it together and I put it together very quickly and it shows. But it actually looks fine because, like I say, it looks dented up like it's been in a windstorm or something. It looks fine. So anyway, that's how that's how that came out. And I know some of you guys will build it and it'll be amazing. You'll do things I've never thought of doing because that's usually how we do it. Uh, I can't wait to see what some of you do. So uh, since the, I believe this is the next freebie and we're really close, I think we're only about 20, uh, 20 sales away from releasing it. Uh, so if things stay as they are, actually I'm kind of surprised we already haven't hit it because uh, it was really, really going fast early, uh, after about the 8th of the month or something. So we're about 20 days uh, it's been about 20 days since the last freebie. Uh, that's, that's pretty quick. That's pretty nice. We can, we can do that. Um, still working on some other things. Uh, of course I'm, I am doing the lumber yard. Uh, that's not going to be a freebie. Uh, I am doing a, what you would call a stiff legged Derek crane. Now that got a little bit stalled. Only because, you know, I'm designing primarily in O scale, and it occurred to me that the smaller scales probably won't be able to build it. I'm going to still do it. It'll still be up there as a freebie. It may not be as as popular as I had hoped. It's a really nice model. Um, if you remember, a couple weeks ago, I was talking about the uh, model railroad in the Arboretum, in the uh, Tall Tree Arboretum. Which, which is not called Tall Tree anymore, but I can't think of the name. And it has a very nice diorama on their railroad of a lime uh, uh, mine, a lime pit, right? And it has several of these cranes in the diorama, which was great because I got to look at how other people have done it other than photos on the Internet, which is what I go to when I'm tackling something. I'm not sure how it's made out do a really, really extensive search of photos and pretty much use the best uh, and most likely solutions that I come up with. Uh, it's it's going to have some rigging, uh, obviously. It's, you know, I mean, a crane, think of a, a beam crane. They're fairly simple. But what we have, what we've made out of the paper are all the pulleys and fittings and, uh, of course, the lumber, uh, which, you know, you can use or not. It'd be better if you did use it and the hooks and all that, but there's a lot of rigging. So there'll be some diagrams for how to rig it. Uh, for you O scalers, it's going to be a really nice kit. Maybe for you HO guys too. I'm not sure the N scale guys are going to be able to get much out of it. Um, now, you know, you may know, I don't know if he said anything in his blog, but my brother has changed from O scale to HO. So he is uh, madly building things in HO scale so that we have models to show at the upcoming Milwaukee Train Fest, which we are planning on going to. Uh, because it's close by, we can generally get there. Uh, so I, I think our plans right now are to go to the Milwaukee Train Fest and uh, show off 
whatever we have new uh, in HO scale primarily, which will be kind of fun. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, you know, look for us there. Um, a little, let's see. Um, like I said, this is going to be a short one. I'm a little bit unprepared. Nobody has gotten in on the chat just yet. I wonder if it's going to happen again just as I uh, log off. Uh, you know, we've been on, doesn't seem like it, but we've already been on for 10 minutes. Um, what else can we talk about? I was hoping to get some ideas from the chat. Okay. Now, <laughs> Yes, I do kind of scatter around when I do these things. And the reason for that is I want them to be as casual and off-the-cuff conversations as I can, I can do. And we'll try to field questions and things like that. But uh, mostly, I'm just going to keep showing the kid here. Mostly, it's stream of consciousness kind of stuff, guys. That's what we're doing. And I'm going to keep doing them. Every Monday, maybe maybe more often, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to keep doing them, and uh, hopefully, you'll find something worthwhile in each one. A little bit of insight into why we're doing this or how we do this. Um, and uh, what would you like to see? Why don't you Why don't you write to me? Right, right. Uh, get onto our uh, chat thing online at uh, clevermodels.net and uh, let us know. Let me know what you want to see. This is very serious. What do you want to see in the next vlog? What do you, what's, what questions do you have? I'll try to come up with something else we can build, try and start another build. Uh, I don't have anything I want to tackle right now, but change my mind. And let me know what you want to do with this. Uh, it was a, I had a fairly stressful, busy, busy week. And that's why I, I just didn't really get to this until late. Um, but chime in with your opinion. If I'm too scattered, my brother thinks I am. Uh, that's okay. And I'm going to probably stay scattered because I'm a scattered person. So... Uh, let me know what you want to see us do during the vlog, and I will make oh, – that was a nice model. I will make it happen, right? I'm here. I'm doing it. I'm making it happen. Uh, we've talked about doing videos for years, and we're finally, finally getting it going. So – um I think I'm going to keep it short for today, and I will, if something interesting pops up, I get an interesting comment, I'll put a notice up on the, on the blog or on the, uh, you know, on the uh, community, and maybe we'll do another one of these midweek. Let's, let's see what, how that goes. But it's only going to happen if you get in touch and let us know what you think. Um, I think that's it. I'm going to have some more coffee, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, that's good. I do say that pretty much after every sip. And um, let me know what you want to see. All right? Okay, we're going to end the stream right now. Nobody has gotten into the chat yet, which is kind of unusual. Well, okay, I started a half hour late. All right, talk to you later. Give you your ideas and look for this model going up probably pretty soon. All right. Probably within the week. Talk to you later. Bye.